In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Martin, I will advise you as your attorney to tell the complete truth. Don't hold anything back. Dave, um, I will do so. I'm over here with Dave Garrett, writer of Deuce Big Oil, also my attorney. And we're about to call Chase, J.P. Morgan Chase, who's suing us. So we're suing me for walking into a window and breaking it. So I'm going to sue them back. They drew first blood. Dave's my attorney. Dave, have you ever done this before? I've, um, I, I've heard about it. Heard That's, about this. But we've watched quite a few Perry Mason episodes. Yeah. Here we go. So Holly? Yes. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm here with Martin Snow. Hi, Mr. Snow. Hi, Holly, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Can you hear us okay? I can, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, perfect. And so I was contacting you to find out how you were doing and, and to see if you were presenting, if you were going to be pursuing a claim against the bank for your injury. And um, can you describe to me what happened? Yes. I went to make a deposit the day after Thanksgiving, and I wanted to uh, check my balance at the ATM. So after I made the deposit, I asked the teller if they had an ATM, and she said, yes, it's around the corner. So I went to look for the ATM, and as I'm walking, uh, you know, I'm looking for where around the corner was, and I walked right into the window. And the whole, the glass shook. Um, you know, apparently it was on the outside of the bank. I thought it was inside the bank. So I had my neck turned trying to find, see where it was. And I just walked smack into the window. Can you describe the window to me? It was glass. Okay. Someone from the bank uh, came outside and said, sir, are you okay? I said, yes, I am. You know, I have a hard head. Mm -hmm. So uh, then she said, well, can I have your account number, please? And I said, well, why do you need my account number? She said, well, you're going to have to pay for the window. You broke it. I said, oh, really? So when did you start to um, feel pain or experience injuries from the law? Um, when I got in the car and drove away, I felt numb. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yes, no feeling. And um, can you describe to me um, the injuries that you sustained from that? Um, well, my speech has definitely been affected. And um, did you have any other symptoms? You had mentioned your speech. Yeah, I mean, listen to me talking. I, I'm sorry, I don't notice um, any problems. Can you just describe to me the... Well, I'm talking like I'm from New York. Okay. So what, um... I mean, I guess you... Can you just describe to me what, um... How, you, how would you describe the speech? I sound like, I sound like, you know, I'm a moron. I, as soon as I open my mouth to talk, people, like, think I'm an idiot. Do I sound intelligent to you? To be honest, you're not going to hurt no, my feelings. You know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't notice it, any problems, so that's why I'm just asking you to describe to me what, you know, how you feel um, this has affected your speech. I mean, is this... Well, I don't sound like, you know, I sound pretty dumb. As soon as I open my mouth and start talking, people look at me like, where's this guy from? Okay. Have you, I mean, I guess it's a, I guess I'm just not understanding how. That's the point. When is. I start talking, people don't understand. Did you lose consciousness at all? No, not that I recall. 
Did you get the? Can I ask? Did you get the security footage or any information on um, from the bank? I sent a request for it, and I don't have it back yet. Usually, okay. it'll take us two to three weeks. Okay. They have to go through all the cameras and, and see if they can find it. Can we sequester that? I'm sorry. Can we sequester that footage? Uh, would you no, it would have to be subpoenaed. We don't. It's because it's part of our work product. It's not our policy to uh, release the footage to you. Well, can we do that also? Subpoena it. If the case goes into litigation, you could. Okay. Sure. Right. Um. So um. <laughs> so um, basically, um, I just want to see if we can wrap up the the statement. Just now, but you see what I'm saying about like even you're laughing. I've uh, even you laugh. I I never you know. I sound like a jerk when I talk. No, not at all, sir. I don't no, have, uh, but come on, now, Holly. Honestly, you're not laughing. I think I'm. I'm just getting confused because both of you. That's how I feel, though. That's how everybody that talks to me feels. Um. Okay, sir. I don't. I don't. You know. I wasn't trying to. Um. Uh, laugh at you. I, I wasn't laughing. I don't. Again, I don't notice any any problems with your speech. So, well, um, that's that's because you actually you took it that way. But what I was trying to do is just see if we can uh, get back on track with the statements, and then I will stay on the line to answer any further questions that you have once we're done with that. But great, um, really, I just want to stay on focus and see if we can uh, wrap up this statement. So, okay. I just had a couple more questions for you. And so, Mr. Snow, do you have any treatment planned at this time? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. And um, so is there anything else about your injury that we didn't already discuss? Any other symptoms that we didn't already discuss? I mean, I, I'm, I'm afraid to go near glass. Okay. okay. Should glass break like that if you walk into it? I mean, it's a bank.